There are children who grew up on this music, who learned Hebrew through this music, who devoted themselves to Jewish life because of this music. And you, you answer me. Debbie's legacy is that we all have come back to the synagogue, that we've all come back to our faith. She was of this movement. It nurtured her and she nurtured us. It took until the 21st century for people to realize what a prophetess she was in the 20th century. She was ahead of her time. Uh, there are now others who aspire to be Debbie Friedman. Debbie didn't have anyone to imitate. She was an original. By creating a whole new genre of Jewish music, Debbie was able to reintroduce authentic spirituality, Jewish spirituality, into our camping system. I don't know if that was her intention, but that was the result of what her music did. And so she wrote melodies that spoke to us, spoke to our intellect and spoke to our emotions. She changed the nature and focus and direction of what song leading is. And that she was able to turn worship and prayer into music that everybody was involved in and, and that everybody found to be uh, responsive to their hearts. With steady hands, we'll touch one another. Oh, God, my Felt like the whole world had just been pushed just a little bit. Things weren't going to be the same. And the women Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You will be dearly missed, but your voice will always be intermingled with mine. You shall be a blessing. All of us who live in the world of Jewish music are indebted to her, and indeed we're standing on her shoulders. She showed us that you can always love, that you can always find more love and give more love. That was Debbie's gift, and I loved her for it. You are she was very, very good at allowing other people to shine and gave us all permission to use her music by making them singable, by making them teachable. You see the Debbie saw this as uh, an extension of herself, and Debbie saw this as an extension of her heart. And she understood that this was a way to sing unto God. She just wrote very singable, beautiful, heartfelt compositions that inspired and will inspire generations of musicians. Word came to us that Debbie had died. Uh, and it was shared with the congregation. And there was this wave of distress. The reality that this person who has such a profound effect on the, the life of the spirit and the soul and the mind in our congregations um, could be taken at such a young age was just tragic and just mind-numbing. First I'll sing it and I'll ask you not to sing with me. As almost everyone knows, who's been to one of Debbie's concerts, when we get to the Misha Beirach, Debbie looks at us and asks and reminds us that she offers this prayer of healing for us and asks us not to sing for you to remember that the work that you do in your congregations and in you, your, youth, your youth groups and in your lives, this is the work that makes for tikkun olam, that heals the world. So this is for you. She would take us in those healing services in places that were very personal about her own struggles with illness. Debbie 
helped all of us who were rabbis and cantors understand that the power of prayer really could be healing. Um, truly a remarkable accomplishment by truly a remarkable human being. Tonight we turn the tables on you. And just as you have blessed us for so many years, tonight I ask this audience to join as we bless you with the words of Rosh Hashanah. We are um, a much more engaged people because of Debbie. We are full on engaged. And personally, I feel that her music um, was the key in the ignition. Alex had a vision of community. He had a vision that we would sing together. You are that community. You are that song. Debbie understood that art and religion are the only two human pursuits that bypass the intellect and go directly to the soul. She went directly to our soul. And you all, you've been with me from the very beginning. You've been a source of inspiration, and it is for you that I write these songs. And it is because of you that I write these songs.